Substance 3D add-on for Blender. It's the, the Adobe now provides free substances or textures or materials for for us to use in blender now for you to get that you can either in google write adobe blender substance or any of these combinations and then it brings you to their home page here and then when you click here adobe uh, here you can create a login which costs nothing and then you it brings you to this place where it gives you direction as to what how you can do you can go on with it it, it tells us that getting started you have to download the latest version of substance 3d add-on from blender and you need to in 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 a nutshell you need to install two things you need substance 3d add on for blender and you need substance 3d integration too so to get um, these are the things you th these are the files these are zip files that you need to download depending on your operating system if you are using windows you will need this and this if you are using mac you need this and that now assuming you have downloaded these files and you've if you wherever you've placed them the next step you have to do is to go to blender and then when you are in blender you go to edit and preferences and then there you have to go to add-ons because you're going to um, add it on and then you go to install because this is not from blender you have to install it so when you click install it brings you to this place where you can select wherever you have saved your file so if in case you for example i have saved my file here this is my recent I just pick it substance uh, I the, I'm running Windows so you pick this this thing here if you select this and you click install and then after you come and do remember do the win 32 first before the integrated you come here and then you click um, install add-on again now assuming you've done all these two things now what you would need to do is that let's go back to here you will have to type try to type in substance or something like that because it has to find it so you write something like substance and then you see that this pops up normally when it pops up it's not opened like this it's maybe something like this so first you click here to open it and it should look something like this it should take the file which goes from C user users and your name and then application if you are using Windows and also um, what you have to do now is to enable it so you click here and then you have to see that thank you for installing the substance 3d inter integration tool this shows that you have you've installed the tool now after you've installed the tool you can close this up and then you want to have access to the add-on you when you press and the add-on is here now when you come here this or this takes you to the home page where you can see these uh, textures or materials so let's see here when i click this you see that it brings me here so you can choose whatever thing you want here whichever thing that appeals to you let's say that this appeals to us so what you do is that you click it and then you you click it and then it uh, you download it when you, after let's say we download it I'm going to download one of it I want to save it 
so it brings me to where i want to save it i mean yours you, you and then you can you can save it i already have the file so i just click this again and then i overwrite it's okay so after you've saved the file that you want you can choose whatever you want you can um or oh, um let's see here you this takes you to another place where you have other things again that you can which adobe office as well you you can pick or any of these as well but be careful the file that you pick should have the um extension sbsar because that's what they are offering for free and then after you've downloaded it let's say we have this our cube here you come here first you press this thing here to load the material it says here load substance material because what you've downloaded so when you click it now you go to where you've saved your file i have it here so you just pick let's say we pick golden this for example and you say or oh, what we did i think this is what we downloaded together so we use that this and then you say load substance material it takes some time now after downloading the sbs ar file you can attach it with whichever material uh, whichever objects you have in your scene by first clicking on the object and then you go here and then you say attach sbsar as material so when you click this it will attach it but now we can't see it because i'm in the solid mode. let's go to the material preview mode yes then you can see it when you come to material properties here you when you come here you can toggle in between um, not having it and having it in case we download another object let's say we don't you know we download another material let's say here and then i already have some materials i have downloaded so let's see i use this one and i load it into my take some time now i have this one here if i want to attach it to it i still have to come here and do attach then it attaches it to this now so that i can either go through whatever i have also here if there's a change of mind now one thing i also want to say is that i had problems when i was trying to install the 3d um substance some way somehow my something had happened to my um vc re redistribution from windows i'll tell you what it is i had problems with it i did not know that was the problem when i downloaded my um my materials and i wanted to call it here i had this error message from python so i couldn't progress so i'm going to show you what's happened this is what happened um to me this is the uh, what i had i had this error message so i did not know why i was having this error messages in the files so i contacted adobe they, they have a, a place where in case you have questions and other things from the home page here if you have trouble or anything you they you you can contact them if you go to substance discord server it's a way where you can in case you had you are having any kind of problem apart from what i had you can press here and it takes you to this place where you can um, say what you want and i eventually realized that first of all i was told to go to the dos prompt and, and or windows you go to um, the command prompt and you write us list this here when i wrote it i saw that i i did uh, the substance remote engine was not running this substance remote engine is a file that um is 
it's one of the files that is, is the executable file from what we downloaded and mine some way somehow was not there so what i eventually did was that uh, I, I went to microsoft visual studios and then i downloaded the vc redistribution i'm using windows so x64 dot uh, execute and after i did that everything worked well so this is just to tell you in case you have any problems with that you can also contact it. they have other people who have uh, who had issues and um, small issues which is discussed here and maybe yours will be in already so it would help you thank you for watching if this helped you in any way please help me as well by subscribing to my channel or like the video thank you bye